Guys, what if cruise missiles are actually coming? Hear me out. I know it feels a little bit out of the blue and from nothing, but what if the aircraft that we're gonna get since we got the leaks, the SU-34, the F-15E, Tornado, Mirage, all is basically a way of adding cruise missiles to the game? Well, we don't know, right? But let's talk a little bit about the cruise missiles. What are they? Like, can we actually see them coming, you know, in, like some examples of how they would be added? Could they be added? So let's talk a little bit about it, okay? So what is, first of all, a cruise missile? A cruise missile, guys, it is basically a vehicle to deliver a payload that drives its way of flight with lift, just like an aircraft. So it has literal wings, right? Not just... Um, you know, turning surfaces like a missile or stabilization surfaces like a missile. He actually has wings that can fly. And with that, you can increase the range a lot with these missiles. Using even jet engines instead of rocket engines, you can even increase it to more. They can be added in a multitude of ways. In real life, there are hypersonic cruise missiles, subsonic, supersonic cruise missiles um, coming from very different different ranges, intercontinental, low ranges, in different types of launch platforms, like from the ground, from submarines, from ships, from aircraft. But today I wanted to talk about the jet ones, you know, the ones that we can, you know, fire from a jet. So do I think we might see them? Well, here's an interesting thing that I was talking about. All the vehicles that we saw leaked and we are waiting for the confirmation and stuff can carry a cruise missile. The Su-34, the F-15E, the Tornado Mark IV or GR-4 and the Mirage 2000D RMV. By the way, I will do a video about that, what you can expect from that aircraft. Um, are all aircraft that can carry cruise missiles. They can all have these cruise missiles. So... Let's talk about three examples of these cruise missiles and also if they would be OP or not or something like that, right? Do, could, can they actually be added or would they be OP? Would they be too bad or whatever, right? Let's do three examples first. For the vehicles that were leaked, we have three. The Storm Shadow can be added for the Tornado GR4 and the Mirage 2000 DRMV. So it would be basically a very, very smart missile and very modern uh, with a 450 kilogram payload and more than 500 kilometers of range uh, with a subsonic speed of 0.8 Mach. It uses GPS and in its final fly path it uses IR guidance. Uh, the Storm Shadow can be a very deadly missile, but like I said on the Tornado video, more for structures and strategic objectives, right? So it doesn't really have a place in the game. But at the same time, what if it means that it's actually coming because it's not going to be OP because it doesn't have a specific target that it can actually hit? So it could be like a PGM, right? Or do you think PGMs were made to destroy just tanks, right? I mean... It's the same principle, right? A Soviet counterpart would be the KH or the Ha, right? 59, which is a well-known cruise missiles, uh, missile that the Soviet Union did back in the 80s, right? Uh, it could be fired from the Su-34, but even from other aircraft that are already in the game, like the Su-17M4 apparently can fire this thing. Never heard of that, but apparently. Um, it's much older, but it has some interesting newer models as well and some interesting features. Like, for example, the older ones were a direct, like, rocket engine, rocket powered vehicle. Um, and today's version of that it actually has a turbofan engine attached to it. So, yeah, 320 kilograms of a warhead, 200, 300 kilometers, depending on the version of a range. Initially, is guided by inertial guidance systems. And then uh, later uses a TV guided system. And yeah, it flies on the same, around the same speed of 0 0.8, right? So an interesting option as well. And another one from the American counterparts that can be added for the F-15E would be the AGM-84. Uh, it brings some new types of technologies at the time, you know, uh, but it is a very, very interesting cruise missile. 360 kilograms of a warhead, 270 kilometers of range, 0 0.7 Mach of a speed, GPS guidance together with the IR terminal guidance, just similar to the Storm Shadow. Storm Shadow. And it could be a cruise missile that can be added both to the Strike Eagle and the F-18 as well. 
So very interesting missiles that could be added. And maybe they are not the most useful thing ever, but it would be interesting, right? Wouldn't it? I mean, in my opinion, it would. So in short, could it actually be added? Well, yes, there are plenty of models out there for all nations that can be added and they would have an objective. You know, they would be an anti-tank weapon. They can even be used in air battles and simulator battles to actually strike um, like with precision uh, bases, uh, you know, places that have targets and stuff. Um, how effective would they be in a ground match? I don't know, we don't need the 500 kilometers of range, obviously, but it could be added, like, you can fire them in a shorter range. Normally, I don't think they can lock onto a target, I don't think, at least most of them, uh, which means that it would probably be like a JDAM kind of type of weapon, which means that it wouldn't be too precise in targeting tanks, which means that we might not see them in a useful role in the PvP environment of aircraft against tank right so that's why i think gaijin even though they might add these aircraft they might not add these missiles just because it might not be the greatest thing ever to kill tanks and at the same time that might be the only like the real reason why they might even add it so it's kind of a 50 50 situation over here because if they do add it and it's not op it's great if they added and it would be OP, that wouldn't be great, right? So I don't think it's going to be OP by any means. So uh, they might as well, right? Uh, it would be an interesting type of vehicle platform to launch warheads, you know, to, to use warheads. Uh, and I think it's just realistic to have the most types, the most realistic types and the most amount of them um of weapons right in the game even if it's a cruise missile that have 500 kilometers of range you wouldn't wouldn't use all of these range but uh it would still be useful in certain situations right so you know are cruise missiles coming well only time will tell i have a feeling that we might see it in my opinion 50 50 chance but you let me know in the comments um, if you think cruise missiles are actually coming, do you think they are they can be useful or not? Let me know down below and I see you guys on the next one Make sure to subscribe and bye